Perfume. Today I'm going to be reviewing or doing a first impressions of the new Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. So this is a new foundation for, from Clinique. It's $27. It's supposed to work for all skin types. The foundation and concealer in one. So this is a definite full coverage foundation. This is going to give you that perfection like flawless face. It's supposed to last all day. It's supposed to be lightweight and it's supposed to be moisturizing without clogging pores. It says skin breathes comfortably, color stays true even through sweat and humidity. It also says shades may appear darker when first applied due to the rich pigment level. So keep that in mind if you're first applying it and then you're like, whoa, this is really dark. Um, actually, I will say that mine stayed pretty true. Um, when I first applied it, it did seem a tiny weeny bit, but it wasn't like anything major. So all together they have 20 shades, which is a really, really awesome um, shade range in my opinion. The finish on the website says that it's a natural matte on me. Um, before I set any powder, it was, it kind of looked like a satin, I guess it was like a satin natural matte. I mean, it was just kind of like very skin-like. It looked really pretty. Now I'm pretty sure the color that I have is called Cream Camoi. It just says seven on here and when I click seven shades on the website it says cream camoi so I don't know if that's how you say it. I don't know if that's the actual color I got. You're gonna see me applying this. Um, I'm also gonna be checking back throughout the day to let you guys know how it's wearing, what it's doing with my oil. You guys know I've been really struggling with foundation lately ever since we moved to Tahoe. My skin, it's a very dry climate here and so my skin is compensating for the dryness and it's producing that much more oil even though I wear a moisturizer. It's just a very frustrating situation. So I've been having a lot of problem with like the foundation that I could normally wear in Montana and not have a problem with. I'm beginning to look like a Vaseline face. So I'm really, really, really hoping that this is gonna be a foundation that I can work with, that it's gonna help control my oil. But right now, just from looking at my skin, I mean, it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I think the price at $27, um, it's not too bad. I mean, it's definitely up there, but it's not like the 35 or 40 that some of the higher end foundations are charging. So I feel like 27 is, it's kind of bearable. It's not too bad in my opinion. Hope you enjoy, bye. Hi hey guys, I'm just putting my makeup on. Missile's running around. I'm pretty sure this is way too dark for me. The lady gave me, she color matched me, and as she was doing it, I was like, what? I don't know about this situation, but let's hope. Mm, let's give it a go. Oh, it's not too bad. It's quite a tacky formula. It reminds me of the Kat Von D. You want that on? Okay. It reminds me a lot of the Kat Von D. This is not a foundation that you're just gonna be able to just mess around with. Like once you're putting it on, don't go and talk on the phone, like get it blended in. The color, even though it was a little dark, it seems to like, it's not too orange. It's got a really nice tone to it. It just looks like a very natural looking tan. The color I got was seven. That's what it says on the thing. I don't know. I'll have to look on the website. Feels really nice on the skin. Looks like I have a nice glow. Like it's very skin-like, but it's really covered up. Everything that I need to cover up. It doesn't look like it's going to accentuate any dry patches. It hasn't accentuated my wrinkles. It's really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on. Okay, so it is 12.24. I have had the makeup on for probably about an hour, um, but it looks exactly the same as it did when I first applied it. It is very beautiful. It looks really, really great on the skin. The coloring is really, really nice. So far, it's just really, really nice. It looks good. It looks like skin. Things blend well on it. It's not like it gets all like streaky or like tacky and then you can't blend your blush or anything like that. I mean, it really does just look very, very nice. So far, I'm gonna give it like an 8.5. It really is looking good, and I love the fact that it's not in my wrinkles. So, um, I will check back in a few hours, and I'll let you guys know how it's wearing throughout the day, but so far, really, really loving it. I'm really happy with the way this foundation is looking. So, ha ha! Maybe I found the one. We'll see. Okay, so it is now 5 o'clock on the dot. I'm gonna check my face. That's really impressive to be honest, considering normally by now, 
after six hours I would be so greasy. I mean, I'm definitely oily. I'm not gonna say I'm not, but it almost just looks more like, oh, you're so radiant. What a glowy thing you are. Versus like, hey, girl, you've got Vaseline on your face. I'm greasy like kind of where my concealer is. That's like the worst part, which that could be the concealer. But I mean, it really does look good. Um, I just ate, that's why my teeth are out, but look how straight they're getting. Can you see it? Ding. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm really, really impressed with it so far. It's been on for what, like six hours? I think that it's looking super good. Nothing has moved as far as like, or broken down. I mean, literally, it's exactly the same as it was. I just have a little bit of oil on me, but you guys know I'm super greasy. So I'm gonna go to the park with the kids. We're gonna go run around. So we'll see what it looks like when I get back. How do you, don't. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Okay, so it is now 9.30 at night. So it has been on for a total of what, like 10 hours? And this is what I look like. If you guys watch our vlogs, you'll know that usually by the end of the day, I'm like super oily, super greasy. Now, while I do have still a little bit of oil going on, I mean, obviously I'm not perfect. Um, it's way better than normal. Um, I will say I have got a little bit of like, you know, it's not looking perfect around the nose. My wrinkles did great. My forehead wrinkles did great. It's looking a little bit thick where my concealer is because um, it, it just feels like it's a little bit oilier right there. But overall, it really looks good. I'm looking in the viewfinder right now. I mean, you can see I've got a little bit, I fell asleep in Phoenix's room, but you can see it's kind of, you know, moved away around the nose area. But you can see it, it really does still look quite nice so this is definitely an awesome foundation you guys definitely should try it it's supposed to be good for oily skin because it's supposed to help absorb oil and it's also supposed to help with dry skin because it's supposed to add the moisture that you need so it says it's for all skin types i don't think that it would it would cling to dry patches if you're oily this is going to work for you i believe it's really going to work for any skin type um, it lasts all day long. I mean, I'm going on 11, 12 hours, and I still look really, really nice. It's definitely helped control my oil a lot better than others. I did not wear a primer because I wanted to show you guys the truth of this foundation without primer on. I'm really impressed, guys. This is well worth $27. I feel like you guys should definitely go and pick up a sample at your local Ulta or Sephora if you haven't already. I'm really, really happy with it. I will definitely be purchasing a full size of this foundation. It might be my new Holy Grail foundation. Plus, I'm gonna take a picture right now and I'll let you know if there's flashback or not. But there's no SPF in this, so there shouldn't be. So please give me a thumbs up if you found this review helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, I have a hair on my nose, um, and Instagram and Pinterest. Bye, thanks for watching.